Well, Good Friday to you and your family and friends as we all experience this beautiful time of the Triduum as we enter into the great uh, evening of Easter Vigil and onward to Easter Sunday. You know, it's hard to preach to a very large audience because most of us will hear from our priests and our bishops and uh, perhaps even deacons and also the lay faithful who are immersed in the uh, mysteries of God. And so I really can't offer you much. Um, but I was praying about today and four things came to mind three of which are from the writings of John the Apostle. And that is the, the concupiscence of our eyes, the concupiscence of the flesh, and the pride of life. Those are the three principal vices by which humanity kind of operates in the world. The three ways in which we all kind of fall short to God's glory and gift of salvation and his majesty and his mercy and love for each and every one of us. Those are, those are the three ways by which generally humanity falls short. Concupiscence of the flesh, the eyes, and pride of life. And on this great day, on this sacred day, on this holy day, we see something great happen. That is the humility of the Divine Son. And in that humility, to allow himself to undergo being arrested, being tried, all unjust, remember. And finally, the sacrifice of his very own life. Not for his sake, but for our sake. That's great humility. So it's in that humility to, today that uh, I feel like we, is what's most touching my heart. And how easy those three vices afflicts us. But we have humility. We have an example of humility. And that is the Savior Jesus Christ. Who doesn't assume the great power of the world. Who doesn't assume a golden throne with a crown. But decides to take a simple crown of thorns and be mounted on a cross as his throne. How often do we take that example of humility in our own lives? So I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, on this great day of Holy Friday, or Good Friday, as we say in the English-speaking world, Grow close to the Savior on the cross because he saved you. But follow his example every day in humility that purifies your soul and that will bring people closer and closer to him. You see, the world has the three, the CCP, concupiscence of the eyes, concupiscence of the flesh, pride of life. But we've seen instances in our culture where that will hit eventually a brick wall, where there's nothing left. What are people searching for? People are searching for something deeper. And we need to have the humility to be able to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good of the mission of Jesus Christ in this world. To his glory and glory forever. Amen.